The movie begins in a dystopian world where the sun never rises and perpetual darkness engulfs everything. A peculiar event unfolds at exactly 12 o'clock every night as the entire population experiences a temporary death for five minutes. Strangely, they all wake up with no memory of what occurred during that brief period. Our protagonist, John Murdoch, finds himself in a dark bathroom, disoriented and terrified, with no recollection of how he got there, his past weeks, or even his own name. After getting dressed, he explores the unfamiliar surroundings until he stumbles upon a briefcase with the initials KH on it. Inside, a greeting card from a place called Shell Beach triggers fragmented memories, though he can't fully grasp the details. As Murdoch contemplates this mysterious discovery, the telephone inside the bathroom rings. Dr. Schreiber, the voice on the other end, reveals that Murdoch's memory was deliberately erased due to a failed experiment, and now unidentified individuals are searching for him. Before the doctor can provide more information, the call abruptly ends, leaving Murdoch bewildered. Determined to unravel the mysteries surrounding his existence, Murdoch checks out of the hotel-like establishment. Along the way, he encounters the lifeless body of a disfigured woman in his room, intensifying his fear. Hastily leaving, he notices three unnaturally tall, pale-faced figures approaching him. Upon reaching the lobby, Murdoch realizes that everyone appears asleep, frozen in time, even a woman inside an elevator. The clock strikes 12, and suddenly life returns to the previously motionless inhabitants. Perplexed by these bizarre occurrences, Murdoch decides to leave the hotel immediately, setting the stage for an intriguing and surreal journey into the unknown. The mysterious men approach the hotel receptionist, seeking information about Murdoch. Failing to provide any answers, the receptionist is injected with a strange substance and killed on the spot. Meanwhile, a stage performer named Emma receives an urgent message from Dr. Schreiber, revealing her true identity as Murdoch's wife. In a meeting with Emma, Dr. Schreiber explains that Murdoch's memory has been completely erased and dangerous individuals are pursuing him. He implores her to contact him immediately if she encounters Murdoch. Confused but willing to help, Emma reluctantly agrees. At the crime scene, local police, led by Inspector Bumstead, start investigating the hotel murders. All victims bear the same spiral symbol, and suspicions fall on Murdoch, who has been staying there. Bumstead calls Emma to the police station, warning her that Murdoch is a wanted criminal. Meanwhile, Murdoch, wandering the city in a state of confusion and fear, discovers an unsettling ability. His fingerprints glow. His journey leads him to a Shell Beach advertisement board, the same one from the mysterious greeting card. Climbing up, he confronts the three strangers who failed to subdue him earlier. They reveal themselves as the strangers. In a surprising twist, Murdoch uses telekinetic powers to subdue the strangers, leaving them shocked. The story takes a deeper turn as we learn about Murdoch's involvement in an experiment called imprinting, from which he escaped, making him a wanted man for the strangers. Emma, returning home, finds Murdoch waiting. Despite his lack of memory about her, he knows he lives there. Emma attempts to learn about Murdoch's whereabouts in the last three weeks, revealing his suspicion for the murder of six women. Shocked, Murdoch leaves. As midnight approaches, the strangers gather in their hideout, led by Mr. Book. Dr. Schreiber is revealed to be the head of their science department. When the clock strikes 12, the city above enters a state of suspended animation. Only Murdoch remains unaffected, wandering through a city undergoing a mysterious transformation, hinting at a massive change in the dystopian world. The strangers, accompanied by Dr. Schreiber, initiate a process called tuning in the city. During this eerie procedure, they approach various individuals, injecting them with a mysterious syringe, effectively wiping their memories clean. After the strangers retreat to the underground, the city comes back to life, but now its inhabitants have no recollection of their past lives and assume entirely new identities. A doctor from five minutes ago might now believe they are a serial killer. Facing challenges in capturing Murdoch, the strangers turn to Dr. Schreiber's solution, a syringe containing all of Murdoch's subconscious memories. By injecting this liquid into someone, they hope to track Murdoch instantly. Mr. Hand, a senior stranger, volunteers for the experiment. With Mr. Book's approval, the strange liquid is injected into Mr. Hand, causing him to convulse before finally waking up with all of Murdoch's memories. In the next scene, Murdoch, still searching for Shell Beach, reaches the subway. He asks people for directions, only to find that everyone he queries has mysteriously forgotten about the existence of Shell Beach. The city, 
now caught in the aftermath of the tuning process, adds another layer of confusion to Murdoch's quest for answers. Confused, Murdoch once again gazes at the greeting card, discovering the name Carl Harris written on it, the same initials found on the suitcase back at the hotel. Determined, Murdoch tracks down Carl's address and pays him a visit. Carl, an old man, reminisces about Murdoch's childhood, but true to the pattern, he doesn't remember any of it. Curious about the perpetual night, Murdoch questions Carl, who cryptically advises him to rest. While at Carl's place, Murdoch's curiosity triggers a chain of events. Carl secretly calls Emma, informing her about Murdoch's presence. Emma, in turn, alerts Inspector Bumstead and heads to the location with him. Unfortunately, Mr. Hand, using Murdoch's memories, overhears Emma's conversation. Realizing that Carl has exposed his location, Murdoch attempts to escape, but the strangers, led by Mr. Hand, have already arrived. They attack Murdoch, but his intricate telekinetic powers and determination to survive allow him to evade capture momentarily. Surrounded once again, Emma and the inspector arrive just in time, rescuing Murdoch and taking him away. The scene shifts to the police station, where Inspector Bumstead interrogates Murdoch, suspecting him of the murders. Murdoch, agitated, turns the tables, questioning Bumstead about the way to Shell Beach. Bumstead knows the place, but struggles to recall the directions. Murdoch challenges the inhabitants' perpetual night and memory loss, demonstrating his telekinetic abilities by levitating a book. As the interrogation unfolds, strangers led by Mr. Hand infiltrate the police station. They put all officers to sleep and head to the cell, intensifying the mysterious and suspenseful atmosphere surrounding Murdoch's quest for truth and escape. However, upon reaching the police station, Emma, Inspector Bumstead, and Murdoch find that their target has already escaped. Meanwhile, Murdoch tracks down Dr. Schreiber at a bathhouse, demanding answers. He wants to understand the city's mysterious happenings and why the strangers are relentlessly pursuing him. In a tense confrontation, Dr. Schreiber calms Murdoch and reveals that they are all part of a grand experiment orchestrated by the strangers. The situation takes an unexpected turn when Inspector Bumstead arrives at the scene, taking control of the situation. It's disclosed that the inspector released Murdoch from custody because he too seeks answers. With Dr. Schreiber reluctantly guiding them, Inspector Bumstead and Murdoch embark on a journey to Shell Beach. However, the doctor cryptically insists that going there might be of no use. As they approach a dead end with a mysteriously vanished bridge, the trio decides to continue their quest by boat. During the boat journey, Dr. Schreiber finally unveils the truth about the city and the strangers. He explains that the strangers are extraterrestrial beings from another planet, facing extinction. Witnessing the prosperity of the human population, they sought to emulate humans but lacked souls. To understand the human soul, they created an entire city, abducting humans worldwide and altering their memories every night at 12. The plan was to compare various human characteristics. Dr. Schreiber reveals that he, being the best psychologist in town, is spared from nightly memory erasures. Murdoch questions why it's always night, and the doctor discloses that the strangers fear light, prompting them to create a perpetually dark city. Upon arriving at Shell Beach, the trio discovers that it's merely a poster on a wall, shattering Murdoch's hope for answers. The revelation leaves them grappling with the profound implications of the stranger's experiment and the true nature of the city they inhabit. Enraged and fueled by the revelation of the city's true nature, Murdoch and Inspector Bumstead unleash their fury on the wall, wielding iron bars like desperate men fighting against an insidious fate. Dr. Schreiber's desperate pleas for them to stop fall on deaf ears, and with a final strike, the wall crumbles, exposing the vast emptiness beyond. The city, once perceived as a refuge, now stands exposed as an elaborate experiment with no conceivable end. Their moment of revelation is cut short as Mr. Hand and his henchmen make a chilling entrance, dragging Emma along as their captive. Threats of harm to Emma force Murdoch into a tense decision. Inspector Bumstead, ever resilient, attempts to confront the strangers, but his brave defiance is met with ruthless retribution. Thrown into the abyss, he witnesses the surreal sight of the city adrift in space, surrounded only by an infinite expanse of darkness. The realization hits him. The city is not just a place, it's a colossal spaceship. Meanwhile, Mr. Hand, using Emma as a bargaining chip, successfully captures Murdoch. Tied to a chair, surrounded by the merciless stranger community, Murdoch faces an imminent threat of death. The atmosphere grows tense, but Mr. Book, their enigmatic leader, 
steps in with a different plan. Summoning Dr. Schreiber, he instructs the doctor to perform an imprint on Murdoch, intending to transfer his soul into all the strangers. A profound and unsettling fate. Dr. Schreiber, torn between his loyalty to the strangers and his growing sympathy for Murdoch, reluctantly complies with Mr. Book's orders. However, fate takes an unexpected turn as the doctor mistakenly injects Murdoch with a syringe containing all his memories. In a flash, Murdoch's consciousness is flooded with the intricacies of his past, including the revelation that he was born in a place called Shell Beach. Empowered by the surge of memories, Murdoch breaks free from his physical constraints. His telekinetic powers, once a mystery, now become a force to be reckoned with. In one of the memories, Dr. Schreiber encourages Murdoch to defy the strangers and take control of the city, instilling renewed hope within him. A climactic battle ensues between Murdoch and Mr. Book. Their conflict wreaks havoc, destroying the entire compound as they continue their struggle in the air. The two adversaries seem evenly matched, engaged in a spectacular showdown that mirrors the magnitude of the city-sized experiment. It's a battle that transcends the boundaries of the physical world, playing out in the very essence of their existence. Ultimately, Murdoch gains the upper hand, deflecting Mr. Book's knife and turning the tables. The final blow is struck and Mr. Book succumbs to defeat, bringing an end to the immediate threat posed by the strangers. With victory secured, Murdoch seeks answers from Dr. Schreiber about Emma's fate. The doctor reveals the heart-wrenching truth. Emma has lost her memory in the last tuning. Murdoch is devastated by this revelation, but amid the pain an idea forms in his mind, a chance to alter the course of their existence. In the concluding scene, Murdoch, now wielding his supreme telekinetic powers, begins the transformation of the entire city. He adds an ocean surrounding it, repairs bridges, recreates Shell Beach, and most importantly restores the sun by reorienting the spaceship. As the city undergoes a metamorphosis, Murdoch heads to a pier near the ocean. There he finds a transformed Emma, basking in the newfound sunlight, symbolizing not just a physical transformation, but the dawn of a new era for the inhabitants of this extraordinary otherworldly city. Now, if you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please make sure to watch the original movie Dark City and support the creative effort of the cast and crew which created this amazing masterpiece. See you next time.